Okay, problem number 23, the wastewater collection book at sewergeek.com. Colored dye is dump in, dumped into a manhole. The first dye appears 3 minutes 18 seconds later in a manhole that's 600 feet downstream and disappears 4 minutes 19 seconds after the dye was first dumped. What is the velocity of the sewer? It's another one that I think we're best off drawing first. I have two manholes. Six hundred feet apart. I'll just have to assume that's center to center. There's my sewer. And we'll throw the water in. So I'm going to dump some dye in this manhole. And then three minutes. 18 seconds later this die is going to show up here 4 minutes 19 seconds later this die finally goes past so you first see it 3 minutes 18 seconds and then it moves and then 4 minutes 19 seconds you see the, the rest of it let's simplify this a little bit 18 seconds is going to be 3 minutes 18 seconds, so it's going to be 3 times 60, which is 180, plus 18. This is now going to be 198 seconds. And the reason I'm changing it to seconds is because the units over here are feet per second. So I'm going to need to get feet and seconds. So then we come down here in 4 minutes, 19 seconds. 4 times 60 is 24. Plus 19 is going to be 259 seconds. So we'll get rid of that. 259 seconds. That makes the problem a little easier. I'll come down here. 198 seconds. 259 seconds. Now why this is this die test is done this way is when you drop a ball in the sewer or something a floating object actually the top moves at a different rate than the bottom and the sides and so it's actually about 10 percent faster near the top than the rest of it when you dump the dye in there this dye mixes with the flow and you can get a good average velocity by figuring out what that time would be right in the middle so all you gotta do a couple of ways you can do it 198 plus 259 divided by 2 and that's going to give you the middle 198 plus 259 is 457 divided by 2 give you 228 seconds and that's the average velocity where the average velocity came across at 228 seconds. So I have the seconds 228. And the feet is 600. It was actually 228.5 if you want to be really nitpicky about it. So it's nothing more than 600 divided by 228.5. That's going to give me 2.62 feet per second. Okay, that gives us the answer of B. Probably should mention that.